Hey guys, welcome to another video of Trench Tech. Today we are running structured cabling through a new construction build, which is my own house. So as you can see here, we've got a couple boxes. We've got some speaker wire, 16 gauge, some RG6, which is most people know it by coax, Cat6, we've got two boxes here. There's four more boxes upstairs, and then a roll of fiber. And this is a duplex fiber, so it's got two strands in it. Um, that way you can do sending and receiving through the one cable. So this is what we're running so far. We've got a bunch of wires running throughout the house. Everything looks messy right now, because the, the initial thing that you want to do is get everything run to where you want it. So you can see we've got it from here. We bundle the wire, pull them all at the same time, and then we run it to the different locations. So as you can see, once we get kind of to the first bend, then everything starts to look really nice. So once everything's all run, then I'll come back with either some Velcro or zip ties and make it all nice and neat. So here's just the beginning look of it. I've got three of the rooms done. Um, so I'll take you upstairs and show you some of that, but I'm gonna run a little bit more cable. So you can see here, I've got my two Cat6 cables. They're bundled together, so I can pull them at the same time, and then I just have a piece of electrical tape here. Like I said, this makes it really easy to fish through all the holes. And then once you get it upstairs, then, or wherever you're terminating it, then you can put it in the box and I'll show you how I do that. But I've been doing this as just two. This is gonna be for a speaker controller. And then I've been running four for bedroom walls. So just an idea of how it's done and I'll show you upstairs. So now you can see I've got the wire run. Comes up out of the box. I'm not going to do it here on camera because I don't have my tripod with me. But I'll show you what I've done with the other ones. So, back here there's a loop to hold your cable. So what I do is I put one roll of electrical tape here. Put one of the strands through the loop. And then another roll of electrical tape here. And then I met it into the box that way. That's out of the way for the drywallers and it can be used. Then what I do since the basement's not being finished is I put one, another roll of electrical tape at the very bottom when I have the loop all the way out and then I just shove it back in the ground. That way the basement's not finished, it can be out of the way for the drywallers and then once the drywalling's done and we're terminating these, then we'll pull it up and leave the service loop up inside the wall where it won't be damaged. So that's what it looks like. You can see here, this is one of our four runs. So it's got RG6, fiber, and two Cat6. And this is one of the speaker controllers. So we've got these just kind of spread throughout the house in different locations to provide network and video throughout the home. Got some more runs to do. Once I get it all run, I'll show you what the basement looks like. So I finally got everything run and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of kind of what it looks like. For now, I've just temporarily zip tied everything. It's not ideal, it's better to use Velcro, but this is all I had, and it's just temporarily just holding these out of place so they can not be in the way of people. Um, so here you can see I've got four, this is my main trunk line, and then everything else, I got four bundles here, they go up to different places of the house. We got two bundles over here, and then I've got this Smurf tube that runs to the attic on both sides of the house. So. Once everything run, it's kind of simple. This room is going to be a dedicated network closet, so it should be out of the way for almost everything. And we've tried to minimize the amount of power that is over here. Really the only power that comes through is that one line, and I'm actually going to move it once we close on the house because I don't want it there. So really the only power in this room will be up above for a light, and then we'll run some down low for power. So. This is what it looks like for now. There's nothing else that I may be doing to the house. The builder is wrapping up the upstairs. We've got insulation downstairs, insulation upstairs, drywall, mudding, and hopefully we'll be in within the next couple of months. If you have additional questions about what I did or why I did anything, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more projects and computer repair tutorials and fun things.